Mr. Bowtie's Texas High School Sports Machine is driven by Henry Finley and McCombs Ford West, a proud supporter of all area local sports. McCombs Ford West, simply the best. They have a little banter back and forth, but the players, uh, they have the advantage. So Lauren's the one that has to sulk a little bit when, when we talk about the, the championship. Pop a bag of popcorn, sit down, just watch them go at it like it's, a, like it's a movie or a good soap opera. That's the goal once we start in the fall. I'll egg it on a little bit once we get into the fall. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage not found on TV or in a cheap web stream. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and you're going to make my dogs think I'm the best person in the world. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. We got Carly Ferris in in the spring. She came early. Uh, Jalen just showed up in summer, so I haven't been able to work with her. I just get to talk to her and such, but um, just... It's awesome because of the experience that they got from being at state and winning state. Like winning 6A here in Texas is not an easy task. So I'm super excited about having them in the gym. And then uh, Lauren coaching at Keller last year, just uh, basically an unranked team getting to the finals of, of 6A is, is unbelievable. But uh, you know, they're, they have a little banter back and forth, but the players, uh, they have the advantage. So Lauren's the one that has to sulk a little bit when, when we talk about the, the championship. One of, I know it can ruin team chemistry, but sometimes you just pop a bag of popcorn, sit down, just watch them go at it like it's a, like it's a movie or a good soap opera? Uh, well, that's the goal once we start in the fall, you know, but um, right now we're just one big family. We're trying to figure things out, you know, to get ready, but uh, I, I'll egg it on a little bit once we get into the fall. You, of course, were at Baylor beforehand, the McGay sisters, uh, Brasino from down here. So you're very familiar with San Antonio players. What's it about the San Antonio volleyball players that, that differ from the Metroplex, from Houston, from the rest of the state? I think there's a little more loyalty when it comes to the club environment and, and with high school. So a lot of these players play for the same club more often, where the bigger Metroplexes, there's a lot of turnover with clubs, so uh, I think there's a little more camaraderie, there's a little more grit from the players from San Antonio, like they just figure things out. They're not like, oh, I don't get what I want, so I'm just gonna go somewhere else. So I, I really enjoy that part about uh, most of the San Antonio players. Any nerves about having uh, Gibson, who is a top five all-timer in San Antonio, Ferris a top 20, both All-Americans, any nerves about not making any mistakes when you coach these two because of what they bring to the table in the Big 12 and you know in that area? Uh, no, I think, um, I wouldn't say nerves, I'd just say excitement, you know? Like, um, I, uh, I feel like just trying to get them to fit in our system uh, and, and just put them in the best uh, position to have the most success is what I'm looking forward to. Lauren, of course, comes in from Keller, and we know the tough Metroplex. So even though they lost in the finals, she still has that experience. You know, it's got to help out making the drawing going from Baylor to TCU with, with her, be, her being a past TCU player. Yeah, I just she's a rock star hire. You know, um, she's a, a highly involved alumni. She knows the game. She coaches for a top club in the area, and just adding her experience um, and her connections was was just a great fit for the staff.